We're at Jim Super Burgers in Pico Rivera, California. Let's hear it. Another fantastic edition of the Vinny Lopez Show. You know, he's the wonderful head coach of the El Rancho Dons football program. Let's hear it for Vinny. People keep saying the Vinny Lopez Show, they expect you to start singing or doing a dance or something, but we'd, <laughs> yeah, that would be something. Well, anyway, we're here again. Ronnie Wald, play-by-play -play of Dons football. That's every Friday when they have their games. But every weeknight, uh, well, it turned out every Tuesday night here at Jim Super Burgers, we all get together with the Don's parents, a couple of great players who were the defensive and offensive players of last week's game and Coach Lopez, and look back at last week's game and a preview of this week's game. But Coach Lopez, a little bit of disappointment, a loss, a five-point loss last week at home to Diamond Ranch. You had your opportunities, and it just didn't work out. Uh, yeah, it was completely frustrating the, the way it worked out for us. I thought we, um, I thought we were the better football team. The scoreboard didn't show it on Friday night, but um, you know we got to come back and, and hopefully we learn our lessons and, and take care of the ball um, and then run down there and make tackles on kickoff. You know, two plays were really the difference in the game, and uh, twice now it's cost us in the red zone uh, versus Troy, and then uh, this week versus. Um, Diamond Ranch, so we got to get it get it done when we get in the red zone. We can't have any turnovers and come away with no points, and and that was the case. So we'll, we'll move on, you know. We'll move on, and, and like I told the boys in two weeks, when we have Lacerna, nobody nobody's going to care about what happened with Diamond Ranch. So um, we got to take care of business. We got to bounce back this week, and uh, we're going to go after and go get Catella this week. What's your approach in practices when you go back and reflect over something? Well. It's a 14-point switch, really, the fumble on the goal line. They pick it up and go, what, 96 yards with it for the score. I mean, let's face it, even up to the last few minutes of the game, you were still in it. You only lost by five points. So there is a positive to draw from that. There is, and, and you know, for us, the positive is is, is really going back to work and, and focusing on with the boys and, and um, you know, it was about practice you know we, we had a sloppy week of practice and it translated into a sloppy football game for us uh, you know we talked about getting better every day and, and th so far this week we've had two fantastic practices and so I'm really happy with how how the practice has gone and and I hope that it translates to a, a solid football game on Friday night for us as well all right, would you introduce these two great guys, one the offensive player of the game and the defensive player of the game, and we'll get some words from them in a moment. Yeah, Richard Cuellar sitting to your right. He's a wide receiver, offensive player of the game. Yeah. And then to his right is Eric Rodarte, defensive end, uh, defensive player of the game. All right, let's start with Richard. <clears throat> It's good to know that uh, they get the acknowledgement, and we'll start with Richard. You've really become a force in terms of receiving the football, leading the team. Uh, looking at what Coach gave me some numbers, 33 catches this year, almost 400 yards. So uh, were you expecting in the summertime that you would be the number one option for quarterback Perea for this season? Yes. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> oh, they told you you'd be the man. No, I just. I don't know. I just. I prepared myself for I could be the number one receiver this year. All right. I guess, yeah. Now, what about uh, your quarterback Perea? He seems to find you over and over again. But you're not the only one. There's a number of great receivers on this Don's team, right? Yes. Yes. Yeah. I don't know. He's. Just, I feel like if there's a big play, just I don't know. I always tell him just give me the ball. All right. Yeah. Offensive player of the game, Richard Cuellar. Now, Eric Rodarte. Eric, another great job. Six tackles, and you got 11 overall in the year. So now you're really starting to bloom and take off defensively. Why do you feel this Don's team a little bit overlooked with their big defense? Because naturally, the offense gets all the attention in the football realm. Do you think you guys are a little bit overlooked? Um, not really. I think we have a solid defense, but uh, like once in a while, it seems like offense is like the big show. Yeah, so I think that's all I got. All right. Now, what about Catella? They're going to be a tough team. I'm going to ask Coach that question in just a moment. But, Eric, Catella on the road in Orange County, an or Orange County powerhouse, coming off a loss. What are your expectations this week? Well, we got to play harder. Harder and smarter, that's the way to go. And, uh, well, let's see. Well, I say we just work hard. Work harder and harder, and that's the only way we could get better. So, all right, Richard Quay, our same question. 
you come off that tough loss. How has coach prepared you to turn your mind away from that game and now get positive? Yeah, your team is now two and two. Just, just work on the things we messed up on, perfect it, and go to the next game with that mentality to get the W. And that's all you can really do. Okay, Coach, what did he mean by we messed up on? <laughs> you're the teacher. You're the coach. Uh, what specifically do they have to improve on? You know, I think w with football, we've got to have short-term memories. Um, whether we get beat on a play, we take a sack, whether we give up a touchdown, a big touchdown, whatever it is, we lose a game that we shouldn't. It's all about having short-term memories and forgetting about it, learning from your mistake and moving on and getting ready to line up and get after it again. And so I think this is, a, you know, this is a very senior-heavy football team. So hopefully that translates into, um, you know, we're going to get it done, you know, that they've learned their mistakes and, and we can go get them. All right. And what have you uh, been able to glean from this Catella team coming out of the powerhouse Orange League? Uh, what have you had any film to take a look at what they're all about? Oh, yeah. I mean, you know, part of the reason we line them up is because of the offense that they run. They run a hurry up, no huddle, uh, wing T offense. And so uh, for us, it was lining them up right before we played Lacerna so that we could get it two weeks in a row and that our kids, especially our defense, would see the same offense and be ready to prep for it two weeks in a row. So, um, But, you know, we've seen them in uh, passing league this summer. We threw against them, and they're a physical football team. We don't expect them to go in and, and lay down for us. And, and um, you know, going into Orange County, it's always tough. Um, you know, it's a different set of officials and, you know, those officials sometimes are a little biased and, and don't do us any favors as an outside Orange County team coming in. So we've got to go in and play perfect football, you know, mistake-free football, and we'll come out with the W. And you'll see some huge stands there at historic Glover Stadium. It was built initially in the 30s for baseball. It's one of your few multi-purpose stadiums around. The layout's incredible. But I'm sure once the game starts, your focus will be on the 100-yard field. Absolutely. You know, and, and that's the biggest part for our, our mistakes. I think last week was just the lack of focus and not being able to focus on the task at hand. And, and, and so that's what we preach this week is, hey, focus on everything and focus on, on the little things. Focus on the, de on the details in it. And uh, everything will work itself out. All right. Eric, thanks again. Good luck against Catella. Same for you, Richard. And Coach Vinny Lopez, thanks for showing up again. The question we ask Vinny every week is, have you had a DUI yet? Uh, have Has everyone had a DUI in your lives? Right now, I'm having one. You're having one right now. Okay, how about you, Coach? I, I still have not. Um, but the, the Why are you a holdout? No. <laughs> they are one of our important sponsors. Uh, I guess I'll lie. I, I have no. I, um, you know what? I, I just I'm not a big DUI guy, but I do love their bacon cheeseburgers here. So get that. Yes, they have an extensive menu, and that's a good segue. Don't forget, I'm usually here for breakfast myself. And Katie, come in for a close-up. This is the great Jim's ad in the program, El Rancho program. And yes, there's a coupon. If you take advantage of that, clip that out. It's a free burger. It's probably one of the best coupons available, right, in the program. Wouldn't you say? Yeah, for sure. They've been a fantastic supporter of ours, and we can't thank them enough and all of the, the fans in Pico Rivera and the sponsors that have supported El Rancho football. So thank you to Jim's Burgers, absolutely. Yeah, a special th Waltcast thank you to all the parents who really are committed here. I've really enjoyed my time being able to broadcast with you. And, of course, the sponsors, as Vinny just mentioned. Give yourselves a round of applause. Why not? Hey, come on, You're, let's hear it from the, <laughs> you got your parents out there too. Don't forget, if you don't make it down to Anaheim, I think it's the corner of Harbor and La Palma in the La Palma Park, historic Glover Stadium as the Dons take on Catella, seven o'clock, and we'll be on live on Waldcast. So for the gang and for Coach Lopez, one more time, a round of applause. They did that pretty well, didn't they, Coach? I'm very proud of this group. We'll talk to you Friday on the network. Ronnie Wald, so long from Jim's Super Burgers. Yeah. Yeah.